G'day guys, I'm going to teach you how to use Kodi to install all your videos and TV shows off of your own hard drive. So what we do, we just go to videos, go down to files, go to files, and here you'll find your, your, your hard drive. So mine's called storage NTFS, click on that. My videos and everything are in videos. Now with Cody, all your movies have to be in a movies folder and all of your TV shows have to be in a TV shows folder. Uh, so the only thing it can't work out is what the difference between the two is. Uh, so you press your little three lines here. Go down to set content. So the three lines are the button on the remote. Uh, set content. We want to change this to TV shows. Go down to OK. We do want to refresh everything, so yes. And on the top right, it'll start coming up with all the TV shows that I've got on my hard drive. Um, this will usually take uh, at least a few minutes, but um, depending on how many shows you've got, um, can I quite often just leave it overnight. Uh, so that's it, we've done that. You can exit out to the home screen. Now you've got a button on here called TV shows. So everything you've just put in there is now I'll change the view. You go left to change the view and just change it up the top to thumbnail. Now these are the shows that I've got on my hard drive. Um, so now normally you'll just have a bunch of file names on your hard drive but Cody goes out and finds everything that it needs to for the, the album covers and the, the artwork and all the rest of it. Um, so now we can press I, uh, press um, I, I press I because I'm on a keyboard, but uh, uh, you, uh, you press the menu and, then, and you go information, so three little button, three little lines on the button, go to information, and now that we can get all the information about the episode or the rest of it, uh, we can go into this, and I'll change the view again, I haven't set this pretty up yet. Uh, now this is all the stuff that's actually on your hard drive, and that is it. You do the same thing with movies. So back to videos, files, go to files into your hard drive. Mine's called videos. Click on movies with the three little lines on the three little line button. Set content. Now with this one. We're going to change it to movies, but we're going to get a different scraper. On the right there, you've got choose scrapers. Um, scraping is what the what Cody does to go and get all the information. So I go into Universal Movie Scraper down at the bottom here. Install that. Now that'll take a few seconds to install. Once it's done. It'll come down the bottom right there telling you it's all done. Installs all the scraper details. Alright, that's enabled. So now we can just go back. And we're going to go press the three little lines again. Set content. And we can change this to movies. Now we go on the right there down the bottom to Universal Movie Scraper and click that. You don't really want the top one clicked. That's the, an old Cody thing. It works it out for itself now. You do want scan recursively. Uh, that means it goes through numerous folders to get to the right file. Now we just press OK. We do want to refresh. At the top right, it's going to come up with all the movies that I've got on my hard drive and find all the information about them and, and uh, put them into Cody for you. All right, that is it. Cheers, guys. All right, guys, just to show you what happens to the movies now that they're in, well, they've all uploaded onto the Cody, you'll now have a little tab here called Movies. When you go in there, this will bring up all of my movies that I have on my hard drive. So you can go onto any one of them, click the little three line button, that'll give you all the information. So you've got a bit about the movie, you've got the cast, if you press on that, you've got who's in the movie. Um, if you go over to trailer, that'll basically bring up a box where you can run all the trailers. I've never, I haven't set this up, 
so you just go yes it'll install YouTube that's how it gets all the trailers goes out to YouTube gets all the official trailers from IMDB this doesn't take long you want to yes you want to execute we go down to thumbnail next one we go to thumbnail again we want to change the language and region change that whoops wrong one. change that to English The next one will be region, we change it to Australia. <coughs> and then that's done, it'll load up the trailer now. You only have to do that once, it's just an original, just a startup setup thing. So now our internet once again is a bit slow, so take a bit to buffer. And then This is the preview for that movie. You ever heard the saying, never rob a bank before some of diner that has the best? Now you can do the same thing with any one of these movies now. So if we go there, press the three little lines, got all the information. Now we, when we go trailer, it'll just go straight into the actual trailer. Open a stream. Don't have to do the setup again. And away we go. Does this little buffering thing and plays. Can't even remember what movie this was now, but there we go. This, this is the trailer for this movie. Now remembering these are all the movies on your hard drive, so now you've turned them all into nice pretty pictures and a bit of information about them. Alright, cheers.